All right, let's um, get part three finished. So part three is just going to be a set the uh, icon in the corner and um, just uh, package it up and get it as an install file and get it installed on your computer. So first, first things first is you need to go online somewhere and just Google find an, uh, an icon file. So it's a, it's a .ico file. So I've already gone ahead and done that. You can find heaps of websites that give you free ones so that's not an issue so just you go in the properties of the project again and you can do resources you can do add resource add new icon oh, hold on add resource add existing file sorry and I've just dumped it on my desktop so I'll find desktop and icon there you go there's one right there bang so that'll be it so that's in and then I'll look at this change this over here to um, now you can just just leave it as that for now all right um, now back over here and just come down here and you can see where you can set the icon um, the icon, icon, icon. icon here you go click there Again, just go look for it. Yeah, bang. There's your icon. So it's set up there in the corner. Beautiful. So if I now Solutions Explorer. Now if I hit properties on this. Yeah, see so this one here is what I was looking for before. Just do copy always. And make sure it's always with you. You don't have to worry about it then. Alright, All right. now let's just get this thing packaged up and sent. So if you go back into so this thing here, you can do go applications. Now, what I usually do is have run one instance. Now, hit that, there you go, there's your icon set there. Start up from the first thing. Uh, assembly assembly information all right so whatever you want it to be, the app application has been called this call here so i'm just going to call temp login excel if you put like a company here and just go abc123 okay when it makes the folder for it the installation folder it's in there all right so window settings just make sure no I don't need anything in there uh, application events don't need anything in there make single instance application click that one just go publish all right now if you're in publish just go publish wizard it's gonna you put somewhere to publish it, so always just um, create somewhere I can find it. So if I just um, whatever, thanks. So it's going to install it there. Next, next, next. Finish. Packages it all up. That's it. So if you want to install it, you just run that file. So look, if I close this now, do you want to save changes? Yeah, we'll save changes. Bang. Set up. It's installing. Just from the other side, install. Now, if you've got um, a vast or something that running in the background, it may may stop it from installing. So you're going to just shut down for a minute. There you go. It there now it's installed on my computer so I can find it in here recently added and you'll find it's down here somewhere as well and let me look for anyway look you'll find it um, 
So, let's see if it works still. Oh, hold on. I haven't got my Arduino plugged in. Let's plug that in. Alright, you heard that. Sort of chimed in. Give it a sec, I'll open it again. Just load it on my other screen. Bring it in. I can connect to it. I'll open up Excel. It's opened on the other screen again. Bring it in. There you go. So let's select an interval. Every five seconds, we'll just log. Every five seconds it's going to go. That's it. She's installed. Alright, if you found this useful, please subscribe and hit that like button. Otherwise, you know, just stick around. Alright, I'll leave you with it. Any, um, any comments or whatever, any comments, just leave down.